feel like I was just another man sometimes in my relationships and I don't really I don't want to be there anymore like <laughs> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Trinity, if you are new here. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to be more feminine. I started my feminine journey actually probably when the pandemic hit. So I wanna say in like 2020. So I noticed that I was living in my masculine energy when I like sat down and thought about how I operated in relationships. And that's what kind of like jump-started my desire to become more feminine. So I came up with a list of things that you can do to try to become more feminine on your own journey. I think one of the number one ways to tap into your feminine energy is to go to therapy and figure out why you never felt safe enough to tap into the energy before. That has been a big thing for me. I've been in therapy since 2020 and it has helped me tremendously to become the woman that I envision myself as at my highest potential. So through therapy, I have realized that I always did a whole lot in relationships and tried to like overcompensate in certain areas just because I wanted to be loved in return. So I felt like, oh, if I if I pay for this date, then he'll know that I bring something to the table and I'm not going to get dragged on. Or if I go half for everything, he'll never be able to hold anything over my head. I'll never have to owe anybody anything. I don't want any man to ever be able to say that he did something for me. And I realized through therapy where that came from. And I've just been healing it. And now I'm more open to like receiving help. One thing I realized about myself is that I never want to feel like I have to depend on someone, especially a man. But I like being able to depend on a man. I feel like I was just another man sometimes in my relationships. And I don't really, I don't want to be that anymore. Like I want to be treated like the soft, gentle being that I am. But in order for me to receive that, I have to tap into that energy. Now... If you want to do something for me, sure. I'm not turning down help. If you want to help, that's fine. If you want to buy me a couple things, that's fine too. And I'm never going to be the type to just sit back and always let somebody just do, do, do. And I never give back. Because at the end of the day, I am a giver. And I love that about myself. I would never change that about myself. But there was this masculine energy about me. Because a big part of why I was doing a lot of those things was because I felt like I would get more in return if I was that way. And that's not necessarily the case. You can get walked over whether you bring the whole table or bring nothing. One thing I learned is that these men will sit back and watch you do as much as you're willing to do before they step in and help. Some of them, not all, some of them. I had to like tap out of that and really just start honestly being honest about what I want. So in addition to therapy, you can also listen to podcasts, um, watch YouTube videos, read books on feminine energy, and really just, you know, leveling up as a woman. You've probably heard this before, but take pride in your appearance. I know sometimes if we're not really going anywhere, we tend to just like, you know, throw on anything, walk out the house with our hair looking a hot mess, don't really care about your nails being done, walk around with chipped nails, like sometimes we just don't care about a lot of things if we're not really doing anything. Even if I'm just going to work or if I'm going to the grocery store, I make sure my hair looks somewhat presentable. Like even if I'm wearing like a messy bun or something like that. One thing about me, if you know me, you know I love some good baby hairs, okay? Like even y'all see right now. Just because I feel like it just makes me look a little put together. It makes it look like I put a little effort into my look even though I'm not all the way put together, if that makes sense. I keep up with my maintenance, so that goes along with hair. My nails are always done. I keep up with my lashes, of course, but I mean, as a lash tech, I kind of have to. Even if I wasn't a lash tech, my lashes would be done 24-7. And that's just because it makes me feel pretty. I know a lot of people who only get their hair and their lashes and their nails done when they have somewhere to go, but you never really know. Since I started my feminine journey, I've been living by stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Like, if somebody asks you to go on a date tomorrow, you should not be scrambling around trying to book a hair appointment or book a nail appointment or book a lash appointment. Like your stuff should always already be together. Whenever I leave out of the house, I try to make sure that I'm dressed well. Um, even if I'm not like completely dressed up, I still want to look somewhat presentable. Like I'm not trying to be walking around looking like nobody loves me. Another thing that goes with taking your time is talking slower. Like I have this problem with talking really fast. Well, I've been working on it lately, but sometimes I feel like I just have to hurry up and get to the point of what I'm trying to say or the person that I'm talking to is going to lose interest. No, what I have to say is important, so I'm going to slow down. I'm going to take my time so that it can come out the way that I want it to come out. 
I think before I speak and I take my time as I'm speaking and that helps me to feel more feminine. Another thing I started doing was investing in things that no one sees just because they make me feel good. An example of that would be your undergarments, panties, bras, you know, even if no one's seeing them, you should still have nice undergarments. Like you don't have to be walking around in granny panties just because you don't have a man because at the end of the day, you should not only be doing these things just to please a man. These are all things that you should be doing whether you have a man or not. And that is actually something that will really help you along this journey because you'll start to just feel more confident in who you are and you'll just be doing things because it makes you feel good. And part of being feminine is really nurturing who you are and taking care of who you are as a woman. I literally got rid of everything and started over. I got me nice quality panties, nice quality bras, stuff that just made me feel good under my clothes. Like it doesn't matter if no one is seeing it. None of, that doesn't even matter. Like it's literally just about how you feel about yourself. That's something that made me feel more womanly and made me feel grown. So that's what I do. Another thing that no one probably will really see is pajamas. I invest in quality pajamas because I just like to feel cute around the house. I gotta feel cute at all times. And that's just what it is. Another way to feel more feminine is to invest in perfumes. So I started my perfume collection probably in like 2019. That's when I started getting like high-end perfumes and asking for perfumes as gifts for Christmas, my birthday, Valentine's Day. But I didn't really start actually like really building my collection and having perfumes for different occasions and different days until probably when the pandemic hit. Then I was just buying stuff. Like I would get all these recommendations from like clients and from YouTube and I would just be buying them. Or I would just go in Sephora and Ulta and just smell all the different perfumes and be like, hmm. I like this and I will buy it. I have some high end perfumes. I have some low end perfumes that are from like Zara or for example, Ariana Grande Cloud is probably like $50 maybe. But I realized that it's just something that made me feel good. I never really invested in like body care products until probably like 2019, 2020. And I feel really dumb saying that because I feel like that's something that every woman or girl period should do for themselves i always took care of myself like let's not don't get it twisted I, your girl always been on point but you know when it came to like perfumes and then just like really just staying on top of my maintenance and really caring about how i look how i smell at all times i didn't really get into that until i probably was like 20 23 24 and it has just been a huge confidence booster for me so i just recommend it to anyone who's on their feminine journey and like I said before, wearing perfume is not even something that you have to do to get the attention of a man. Like there's something about just walking around your house or walking through work or just walking up the street and just getting a whiff of your own perfume and being like, hmm, I smell good. And even, even if somebody else tells you that you smell good, it doesn't even have to be a man. It could be a man, it could be your homegirl, your mom, whoever. Somebody just tells you, girl, you smell good. That's like one of the best compliments you can ever receive. Like that just never gets old to me. I take pride in smelling good all the time. Another way to feel more feminine is to take your time with everything that you do. Do not rush through anything. I notice that when I see women just like moving real fast and just always just like being on the go every second of the day, that's not living in your feminine energy. I like being on time and I like having a schedule and I like having my routines so that I'm never really like flustered and feeling like I always have something to do every five seconds. I want to be able to live in my feminine energy and just be like relaxed and not feel like, oh, I got to do this, 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 this every five seconds. Like I don't want to feel like that every hour of the day. I want to be able to just be calm and relaxed. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of this. And if you would like more videos like this, just comment below and let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video.